Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're live on location this morning at Cobb's Bread, just south of Glenmore Trail on Elbow Drive. And uh, learning how to make all recipes here at Cobb's, there's many things that are made. Very, very productive morning we've had so far. Yes, we certainly have, haven't we? You okay. Know, lots to do. And uh, lots to do. Lots of machinery to operate here. We're actually going to be operating some heavy machinery. You betcha. Heavy so machinery. So what scale am I learning here? Okay, so what we're doing here is we're molding our, uh, our loaves for our classic sort of block style breads. Okay. So much is done through this machine, thank God. Uh, it's not a lot's done by uh, molding by hand anymore. So right. this thing saves us a lot of time. Just got to be careful of your fingers. Don't put the fingers in the machinery. Do not put your fingers in. So I'll turn this guy on here. And all you've got to do is throw him in the top there and the machine will do the rest for you. Beautiful. Slam dunk. There we go, look at that go. Okay. But the dough itself is actually made from scratch. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. Everything here is made from scratch, and which separates us from a lot of our competition. Uh, a lot of the stuff's either this pre-frozen, uh, pull out and put on your shelf stuff. A lot of it's uh, uh, throw your bag in the mixer and just add water. With us, we measure everything up. All of our stuff is bought in, all fresh ingredients, all the time. No preservatives? No preservatives at all. Okay, so now that this has come that out. That is perfect. Now you pick him up like that. That's perfect. And which loaf is this? Now this here is, this is our lecker bread. It's a bit of a different one. It's a German uh, uh, origin style bread. And basically it's a dark cracked rye with um, some flax seeds and some other goodness in it. And as, as you can see there, you're rolling it in oats there just to give it a nice, nice coverage. Flax seed and other goodness. And other goodness, exactly. And you just throw her in the tin like so. Pop that in there. Perfect. Is the next one ready to go? Yes, it sure is. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's going to come out down there. That's beautiful. Lovely. There it is. Terrific. Perfection. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Now, if I'm making my own bread at home, yes. let's say my bread goes stale or I'm having difficulties finding that perfect balance, yes. you actually have some science that you're going to share with us and uh, tell us a little bit about how I know that my dough is ready. Well, basically, how the dough is working is people do forget that bread is a science. It is, it's, it's, it's a science. So you follow the, uh, the steps to production. Now, the best way that I can show you for a home baker mm -hmm. is in any dough, this, 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 uh, this is the steps you'd follow. After you've mixed it for, say if you're doing, say, a whole wheat, or in this case, this is a white dough, yeah. um, you'd mix it up on slow for about two minutes in your mixer. So it would, all of the water would then blend with the flour. And then you'd give it a good whack at about 10 10 minutes on the fast speed. When, how you know it's ready, it has to be 28 degrees Celsius, so you stick a thermometer probe into it, and then you do what, what I'm doing here, what's called a window test. So I'm just stretching out the fibers of the dough, and as you can see, the thinner it gets here, uh, it thins right out, so now I know oh, wow. that this is going to trap all the yeast gas, it's going to make the, uh, the, uh, the loaf rise properly, and it's not gonna get stale. Holds in the moisture. The that window is the technique. best. The window technique. Okay. Never fail. And the other tip for making good bread, as we've learned here this morning, is employing the Australians. Yes, is that employing right? Australians. That is the biggest tip we can do for you. So. The biggest tip. There you Indeed. have it right there, Dave. Hot tip. If you want good bread, you got to go down under. It's simple enough. <laughs> Absolutely. That's uh, where these guys come in handy. Now, growing up, I always had, if I look at that bread behind you, I'd have that bread, I would have butter all over that bread, and then I would throw some sugar and more cinnamon on that. Well, interesting that you should mention the butter because I asked what the tip is to make a good uh, scroll or yeah. a hot crust bun or um, cinnamon roll. Yeah. And the answer is butter. Is it? So you're an expert. <laughs> I just know it tastes good. That is great, Jill. Thank you very much. Talk yes, about delicious interesting. things. Yeah, hot crust buns up next. Oh, if you want to know, it's that time of year.